will be an insect invasion this weekend. The annual Bug Fest is back at the Academy of Natural Sciences of Drexel University. Our Chandler Lutz is live at the museum right now with a preview for us. Hi, Chandler. Hey, Natasha, we are here at Dino Hall at the Academy of Natural Sciences of Drexel University. It's not about the dinos. It's all about the celebration of bugs this weekend only. It's Bug Fest 2023. I am with Anwar here with the museum. So, Anwar, tell me about Bug Fest. What can we look forward to this weekend? Yeah, so Bug Fest is our longest ongoing festival. This is actually our 16th Bug Fest, and it's a highlight. It's a celebration about the amazing world of bugs. So, unfortunately, people aren't a huge fan of bugs. They find them kind of gross. But they actually do so much good for the environment, and that's what Bug Fest is all about. All about learning about them, and you have some some bugs here for us to see yeah, today. Who my do we have? Bug friends. So yes. we're going to start off with our beautiful desert millipede. This is actually they kind of hold it onto each other. Uh, this is actually a species found in the southwestern parts of the United States, wow. and they're called millipedes. They actually have about 300 legs, so they don't have a thousand legs. They have about 300, and uh, if they get scared, they can actually secrete a chemical from their skin that's pretty toxic. But they can also roll into a ball if they get scared. But I know that sounds kind of scary. Legs. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so sweet. Cool. Okay. And who do we have next here? This is a vinegaroon. Yeah, this is a pretty wild one. We have our vinegaroon, also known as a whip scorpion. So this is a species of arachnid, but it's not going to be a true scorpion. So it doesn't have a stinger, but instead it can actually shoot out acetic acid at the tip of that tail and kind of fling it around for and defense. It's similar to vinegar, correct? Yes. Wow. Yep. So it can't really hurt you. You can kind of burn a little bit, but um, if you're an animal, it might frighten and spook, uh, spook you. That's so, one defense mechanism. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. And now we're moving to you have some cockroaches. Yeah. Over here. So everyone's personal favorite cockroaches. We have our, oh, this one's kind of fast, our Madagascar hissing cockroach. So there's species of roach found on the island of Madagascar, and they can actually hiss extremely loud. Oh. So they have small holes in the sides of their abdomen called spiracles. That's how they breathe. Okay. And if they feel frightened, they can squeeze, and the air can pass out of the sides of their bodies. I feel like he's looking at me right now. <laughs> yeah, you're totally fine. It's actually that mite I was talking about earlier. Oh. That keeps them clean. So it's a symbiotic mite that keeps the roaches nice and clean all day. So roaches are clean. Yep, for the most part. All yeah. the things you can learn about <laughs> yeah. at Bug Fest. So tell me what you hope to get out of Bug Fest and what you hope to educate so people So I hope people kind of come with a new mind. Mindset. I know I, said, I was a huge fan of bugs, but come in, learn about some bugs, and hopefully see the world in a different light. Because as I mentioned before, they do so much good for the environment. So if you can go home and just, you know, appreciate the nature we have around you, that's our main goal of like a bug fest. So. And you have a lot of events happening. I know we talked about how you can actually experience some of the bugs that we have locally. You have yep. a bug walk. What yeah, is that? so there's a bug walk, so you can join our entomologists, the ones who are the true experts in the bug field. Go out into the city and uncover some urban bugs and a little bug scavenger hunt. All right, so a bunch of different events happening Saturday and Sunday here. Mm -hmm. Lastly, we have oh, the tarantula, yeah. right? Yep. Oh, gee, so. Natasha. <laughs> You're going to be good. This, this is, is our. Nikki, right? Yeah, our beautiful rose hair tarantula. She has a name. And she's going to be covered. <laughs> yeah, she does. She's going to be covered in all these beautiful hairs that aid in her defense. So if she gets scared, she can actually turn around and kick the hairs off the back of her abdomen right there, and they can kind of fly into your face. Wow. All yeah. right. Well, with that, Natasha, <laughs> that's Nikki. You can meet Nikki and all the other bugs this weekend here at the museum. <laughs> we'll see you later. <laughs> okay, okay. I can't touch it. I, I know. I'm it. just going to look at it from afar here on the screen. Thank you guys so much. Me I appreciate too. it. Well, you know, you can check out Bug Fest for yourself in person 2023 tomorrow and Sunday at the Academy of Natural Sciences of Drexel University. <laughs>